Hey, Harry Potter fans, Peter Kenneth here. Welcome to the Potter Collector Channel, where we are a community of collectors. So a few months ago, I went to the Harry Potter store in New York City, and I filmed a shop tour of the store completely empty before it opened. Only the employees and myself were there. If you've not seen that video, check the description down below. I will put a link there for you. But this is what I brought home. Today, we are going to take a look at this massive HPNY, or Harry Potter, New York, haul. All right, I'm gonna put some of the stuff down here. And we'll open up one bag at a time. I'm surrounded by Harry Potter merchandise. All right, first things first, you're noticing I'm wearing a Harry Potter New York themed spirit jersey. This is one of the items I picked up. On the back, it says Harry Potter New York. Ta-da! This one is very cool. It has a retro look to it. We'll talk more about it. But first, I want to say thank you to our sponsors, Jam City. You can download Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery for free using the link below on your mobile device or tablet. I'm also holding my own sweepstakes where I will be giving away one of the Harry Potter New York official wood wands. So stay tuned to find out how you can win. We're also going to be taking a look at the three different wands you can win in this video because they're part of the haul. But wait, there's more. If 1,000 of you download the game using the link down below, I won't give one of the wands away. I will give two of the wands away winner's choice. And each wand costs like $85. In Hogwarts Mystery, you can customize your own character, choose your house, and live out magical moments as a Hogwarts student. You all know that my house is Slytherin. We are ambitious and resourceful, and I loved seeing the different green themed outfits in the Hogwarts Mystery game. And it's pretty nice to be on Snape's good side. When you guys download the game using my link, which is listed down below, also let me know what your Hogwarts house is and if you chose it in the Hogwarts Mystery game. You can also master new spells and potions to use in class for dueling other students and to progress through the story. And all of that from your mobile phone or tablet. It's like carrying all of the wizarding world in your pocket. All of my favorite characters are there, Dumbledore, McGonagall. You'll find Snape and Hagrid and Dobby, the Weasley twins, and all of your favorite magical creatures from Fantastic Beasts. What I loved seeing was the freedom you had to create your own character, and one that feels like you with a wide range of hairstyles and different outfits that you can unlock. You can even customize and decorate your dorm room. But wait, there's even more. There's Quidditch too. Play anytime as you unlock and learn each position, work your way up to team captain, I'm already the team captain, and progress in an exciting and unique storyline. So once again, I will be giving away one of the wooden hand-carved wands from Harry Potter New York to one person who downloads Hogwarts Mystery using my link in the description down below, screenshots themselves reaching chapter 7 of year 1, and tags me in that screenshot on Instagram or Twitter. You can also send it via DM if you'd like to, as well as leaves a comment down below with your Hogwarts house house and your favorite Harry Potter character. The winner will be selected in one month's time. And a reminder, if we hit 1,000 downloads, the Potter Collector community is pretty big. I don't think that's hard to do. I will give a second person their choice of wood wand from Harry Potter New York. All the information is listed down below for the sweepstakes. It also has important things like date, when the winner will be selected, how the winner will be selected. Thank you again, Jam City, for sponsoring this video. All right, y'all, since we were talking about the wands, let's take a look at the wands. And holy moly cannoli, wait till you see these boxes. I almost like the boxes more than the wands themselves because the boxes are like perfect replicas of Ollivander wand boxes that you would find at Ollivander's wand shop. Now we all know the Noble Collection wand boxes, which are beautiful, but these are like, oh. All right, let's save this one for last because that one's pretty intense. All right, so, all right, here, <laughs> I'm just so excited to show you guys these wands. Here is the packaging. So let's slip this off to make it feel a little more authentic. So we see like, you know, some branding information on this sleeve and blah, 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 do, do, do. But look at this. Look at this replica wand box. It's this faux leather red looking box that looks aged and just worn like it's been in Ollivander's wand shop for a while. Check out the end there. Now I'm gonna do a whole video about these three wands because I think they deserve a full video on their own. So I'm not gonna go into a ton of detail about them, but we are gonna take a look at them. 
And this one is, oh, this is Hermione's wand. Ready to see this? Da, 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 da. It is lined with satin and the wand itself is wood and carved, hand carved. These are the only official wood wands that you can purchase. And I'm pretty sure that they have like a metal core on the inside. But let's take a real quick look at Hermione's wand. It's like really, really nice. Again, I wanna do a full video about these. And we also have like five bags to get through so we can't take too much time on them. But I wanna show you each one. Here is Harry Potter's wand. They haven't come out with Ron's wand. They really do need to do that. But here is his wand box. Is green. His eyes are as green as a freshly pickled toad. Now his wand has this velvety lining. And one of the things I love about these wands is they have some elastic straps attaching them to the box so they don't fall out. But Harry's wand, really, really nice. I'll probably do this dedicated video pretty soon. And last but not least, can you guess whose wand this is with like the ornate tassels? Dumbledore's wand. The elder wand is in here. Look at this box. Look at this box. I mean, come on, these boxes on my shelves, on your shelves will look incredible. All right, let's take a look at the Elder Wand. Purple satin, royal, just like Dumbledore, and the Elder Wand itself with those different bulbs and the runes on the handle. The Elder Wand, the most powerful wand in the world, which could be yours in sweepstakes. So those are the official wood wands, and you can get them at the Harry Potter store. And those aren't exclusive to Harry Potter New York. You can purchase them online. Let's take a look at this bag, because this is a fun bag. I thought these things were adorable, so I'm like, I've got to get all three of them. And I'm actually going to give one or two of them to my nephew Mason, who loves cars and trains. These things are adorable. Okay, so they are stuffed animals slash pillows. And we have the night bus. Like it's a pillow. It's like this night bus pillow. I just thought this was really clever. And you can sleep on it. You can use it for decoration. You can put it with your stuffed animals. It's like a stuffed animal pillow mix. I don't know really what to call these, but they have the Hogwarts Express too. Seriously cute. I, you guys may be like, Peter, that's the weirdest looking thing I've ever seen in my life. But I think these are so cute. And I can't wait to give this especially to Mason. So we have the Hogwarts Express, but then we also have the Weasley's Ford Anglia. The only thing that would make this better, I think, is if you could see Hedwig in the back seat or something. I don't know, there's something about it that I just thought was so clever, so I had to get all three of them. Gotta collect them all. Now, for those of you who have not been to the New York store or have seen like a haul here on the Potter Collector channel before, if you're actually new to the Potter Collector channel, welcome, we're happy to have you here. But I wanna show you guys the bags that you receive at the Harry Potter store. So we have some branding there as well as like the address. But then on this side, we have the Daily Prophet and it's Dumbledore. Is he daft or dangerous? He was neither. And then you can purchase reusable bags too. We'll take a closer look at this one in a second, but that's one of them. And then the smaller bag has this Daily Prophet article, Death Eater Numbers Grow. I also have a new niece, Hannah. She was born a few months ago. This bag and this bag, <laughs> Boom and boom. So these right here and this are also going to be their own dedicated video. These bags are full of every spirit jersey that Harry Potter New York sells. We're gonna take a look at each individual spirit jersey and we will probably magically change into each one too in the video, but let's take a look at them separately here during this unboxing. Oh wait, it's not all spirit jerseys. Oh, I love this one. Okay, hold on, let's put that aside. Now the spirit jersey idea was from my friend Mel, the Harry Potter collection on Instagram, and I thought it was a genius idea, so I had to buy all the spirit jerseys. And actually I'm waiting for a few of the new ones that they released because I purchased these in April or May, I think? No, it was May because it was the one year anniversary that I was there, and a few others have been released since I was there, so Mel is actually gonna pick those up for me and send them. All right, so you guys saw this one, loved this retro style shirt. You would have seen this shirt if you've seen my latest updated outro. So this is what I'm wearing in that. Do, 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 da, da, da. They have spirit jerseys in all four houses. Let's take a look at those first. Hufflepuffs on top, so we're gonna take a look at the Hufflepuff spirit jersey. So here is the chest emblem. And again, we'll take a closer look at these once I do that spirit jersey video. But it says Hufflepuff on the back. Oh, I wanna mention, spirit jerseys run large. So if you normally wear a large or a medium or small or whatever, get a size down, that's my recommendation. I usually wear a medium, this is a small. Just be aware of that if you're purchasing spirit jerseys. Next up is Ravenclaw. 
It says Ravenclaw on the back, chest emblem in silver on the front with a raven. Sorry, Ravenclaws. Gryffindor! There's that chest emblem with the lion in gold, and then on the back, Gryffindor. And last but not least, Slytherin, which actually this isn't what I picked up in May. I had this prior to May, but I figured, you know what, I'm going to show it in the video anyway. Here is the Slytherin spirit jersey and the back. I think this one's still my favorite. I mean, I like this one too, the black one. Actually, this one's nice too. They're all really nice. They're well designed and the flashy ones, like they're flashy, but they're not like crazy flashy. I don't know if that makes sense. So I love the gold and the black here and it says Hogwarts. The front, we have all four houses, all four colors, and then the rest is surrounded in gold. So again, I've had these since May and I'm excited for fall to literally wear most of these. All right, next up is a solid black version of this spirit jersey. Just really nice, black on black. And then the back, we see Harry Potter, New York. All right, I know we're blowing through these spirit jerseys, but there will be a dedicated spirit jersey video on the way. This one's like a winter wonderland. Lots of sparkles, lots of glitter. It's, they're actually stars. They're not snow, but it reminds me of a winter wonderland. But look at the back here. I'm not sure if the camera's picking up the glitter, but Hogwarts is just sparkling. So Harry Potter New York came out with like a dedicated color collection and their first color was pink. They released a whole line of pink products and one of those pink products was a spirit jersey. Now the whole pink collection was limited edition and I think pink has been sold out and it has actually been replaced with like a baby blue color. And then on the back it says Harry Potter New York. All right, last but not least for this video is Honey Dukes. Now this is an intense spirit jersey. Look at that print. There's no chest emblem on here, but what you do see is a bunch of candy. And then on the back, we see a big Honey Dukes logo. How fun is this? This is very, very fun. All right, moving right along. Let's take a look at this bag. No, let's take a look at this bag first because this one actually has some replacements. You may have seen in a past video, I don't remember what video it was in, but I talked about the Shaco Chalk and the Peppermint Toads that I had purchased for Mama Potter Collector, and my dogs, Max and Jet, got into them. Thankfully, they're okay, because this is dark chocolate. But they got into the dark chocolate, and I got into the Peppermint Toads, so I got replacements for Mama Potter Collector. Will they make it to her? I'm not sure, but at least I got replacements for her. So Shaco Chalk is dark chocolate with chili powder. Really, really good. All right, now we can get into this bag here. Oh, maybe I should put this in the bag. Boop. So now we can get into this bag here, and in the bag is this pink hoodie from the Pink Collection. When I saw this, I was like, okay, I have to have that. I don't normally wear pink, but there was something about this hoodie that I was like, I have to have this. So I picked up the limited edition, now sold out, I believe, pink hoodie from Harry Potter New York. It's gonna be very warm because I have the spirit jersey and the hoodie on. I'm so excited about this hoodie, I don't know why. All right, so we have this pink hoodie, very, very nice. Solid metal doodads at the end of the, uh, the strings. And a nice big hood to keep you nice and warm and protected from dark wizards. All right, but in the bag itself, we'll take a look at the bag at the end, but let's take a look at what's in the bag. I picked up this white Harry Potter New York shirt. Very fun. If you guys have been part of the Potter Culture community for a while, you know that I love wearing white, black, and gray. Those are my favorite things to wear. I wear other colors too, like pink, but white, black, and gray are my favorite colors to wear. All right, we have pins, ornaments, greeting cards, journals. There's a lot of stuff in here, a lot of new things in here. Actually, let's take a look at the bag. So this, I think, was one of the newer bags that they released around the time of Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore. So this bag was not there when I was last at the Harry Potter store before May, but here is one of their newest reusable bags. They have a whole line of them too, which is awesome. I think they're only like $4. Yeah, they're $4 reusable bags, and it's really like a souvenir too. So it says Kowalski Bakery, quality baked goods. This is Jacob Kowalski's bakery, of course. And then on the side, it says Harry Potter, New York. And on the inside of the bag, there's like a little pocket that you can put smaller things in to keep them from getting lost at the bottom of your bag. So very useful. And you can like pick these up and literally fill them as you go throughout the store and then bring them to the cash register and they'll scan everything. And then you can take everything home with you in your new bag. All right, but to be a mug, they are back. For a while, they were out of these mugs. Every time you purchase butterbeer from the butterbeer bar at the Harry Potter, New York store, Store, you get a butterbeer mug. So this is the official Harry Potter New York butterbeer bar mug. 
Let's look at the keychains first. Oh, I forgot about that one. Yeah, I thought that was really cool. Oh, I forgot about this one too. See, this is why you don't buy things and then like leave them in your corner for three or four months. Sad for them and sad for me, they had to stay in the corner for months so I could film this video. But here is the first of the keychains. It's the Night Bus and this is solid metal. This is a hefty, hefty keychain. And then the little charm here says Harry Potter on it. And there's like a lobster claw clasp on there. Very cute keychain. Next up is the Tri Wizard Cup. Another fun keychain. Again, has that little charm that says Harry Potter on it and the same lobster clasp. I think that's called a lobster clasp because it looks like, like a lobster's claw as well as the key ring itself. So the Tri Wizard Cup is metal. It's like a delicate metal and it has like a colored enamel on it that makes it look like the Tri Wizard Cup. Next up is this Harry Potter New York logo. You see that on a lot of themed merchandise. Lightning Bolt, the Deathly Hollows, a Niffler and a Golden Snitch. And on the back, Harry Potter, New York. Love the shiny gold. This is solid metal again. Really good quality keychains, I have to say. Sometimes keychains can be like plastic and cheap and they just break after a month. These are gonna last. This one is good, real good. The Mirror of Erised. And look, you're seeing your heart's desire in the mirror and that is to watch a Potter Collector unboxing of Harry Potter New York merchandise. It really does work. But seriously, look at this mirror of Erised keychain. And then the charm has a quote from Dumbledore and it says, it does not do to dwell on dreams and forget to live. And last but not least, which I think is such a beautiful keychain. It's such a fantastic keychain. It's Hedwig delivering Harry's Hogwarts acceptance letter. Isn't that beautiful? It's almost like a pewter silver finish and keychain. You see every individual effect on Hedwig's wings. So well done, like so well done. And then that same charm that says Harry Potter on it. So those were the keychains, and I purchased three new ornaments, which I hadn't seen before. One of which is the night bus. I got three different night bus things. But here is the night bus ornament. You can't see Stan, Ernie, or the shrunken head on the inside, but very, very cool. There's the back of the night bus. Also purchased the Ford Anglia. I have a lot of Harry Potter ornaments and I have yet to do a dedicated Harry Potter Christmas tree. So maybe this will be the year. And the last ornament is this butterbeer bottle, which literally has nutritional information on the back. Really, really, really fun. All right, just a few items left. I think that's it after these. Am I missing anything? I don't think I'm missing anything. Um, let's save these for last. Let's take a look at the journals. I love these journals by Mina Lima. If you don't know Mina Lima, they are the graphic designers of the entire Harry Potter series, as well as Fantastic Beasts, and have even created a lot of the designs for the props that we know, like Slughorn's Hourglass, Ravenclaw's Diadem, the Time Turner, the Daily Prophet. They also designed all of the magical book covers that we see in the Harry Potter film and they've come out with journals with that artwork on them. And it's just a, a journal with some gilding on the edges and you can use these or just display these. But then on the inside, it's just basic journal paper and they even have bookmarks. So this is a souvenir I highly recommend, especially if you write. If you're a writer, this is something that you've got to pick up. If you're not a writer, this is something that you need to pick up to use in your displays or give as gifts. So then the other journal I picked up was, I read about it in Hogwarts. A history. And then on the back we have the Hogwarts Crest. So I picked up those two journals. I also picked up this journal, which I have never owned before, but I saw it at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, literally from day one when they opened. And it is the Slytherin faux leather journal. It has this really nice metal Slytherin crest on the front. Again, this faux leather cover. And on the inside is just blank paper. So no lines. So you could doodle in this, you could write in this, whatever you want to do in this. Last but not least, I picked up some postcards. I thought these were really cute. Honey Dukes. And actually what I think I'll do is I will send these postcards to the winners of the wands. So again, if we reach a thousand downloads, I'll be giving away two wands and two Honey Dukes postcards. Also by Mina Lima, you can get their artwork on greeting cards. What these are also good for are framing. So if you've got a frame, I mean, these make really beautiful artwork too. Here is the Fantastic Beasts book cover artwork by Mina Lima. And look at that Niffler inducing gold foiling, absolutely beautiful. We also have the black family tree, really, really nice stuff. This one specifically would be really nice framed. They also have lenticular cards. So here is the Newt Scamander wanted poster, which is, as you're seeing, lenticular. 
They have other lenticular cards that I showed you guys in past hauls. So if you wanna see those, check those videos out. The Valentine's Day love note from Romilda Vane to Harry Potter. Dear Harry, thinking sweet thoughts of you. Happy Valentine's Day, Romilda. And this one is covered in red foil. And last but not least is this Quibbler cover, the one that featured Spectra Specs, which are in silver foiling. So those are the greeting cards, and they are blank on the inside, which is really nice. Oh, I also grabbed this greeting card, this Slytherin greeting card. You can get them in all four houses, but I had sent one of these out to someone and needed to get one for myself. So that was my Harry Potter New York haul from this past trip. And once again, you all have a chance to win one of these wands just by downloading Hogwarts mystery using the link in the description down below and playing up to chapter seven year one don't forget to check the description down below for all the rules for the sweepstakes to make sure that you are entered correctly and if we hit 1000 downloads i will give two of these wands away to two of you guys if you have any questions about Harry Potter or collecting, feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also join the Potter Collector community on Instagram at the Potter Collector or on Twitter at Potter Collector. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching, and if you're new here, welcome. We cover all things Harry Potter on the Potter Collector channel, like books, merchandise reviews, unboxings, Wizarding World of Harry Potter videos, and more. If you would like to subscribe, you can click right here. You can also check out a previously posted video right around here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter, feel free to leave a comment down below. I am happy to help. But for now, I must go. We'll see you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?